Hey, folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today, Wednesday, March 23rd, 2011. Well, folks, what we're seeing today is a market that's basically on the flat line, but that was not the way it started out today. I'm going to cover all the ins and the outs of what you need to know to make money this afternoon and tomorrow in this market. First off, the one thing you have to bring to the forefront is where the Dow Jones Industrial Average, NASDAQ, and S&P are trading. Right now, Dow is up 13 points. NASDAQ is down three quarters of one point and the S&P 500 down about two so basically a flat market out there now the interesting thing about today is the really the the European issues are re-emerging now yesterday we saw a little bit of issues over you know Libya the bombings that were going on in Libya by the coalition forces we were talking about Japan still over the last few days those have now been pushed to the back burner we're now looking at Portugal basically what's going on today is there's going to be a debt vote a vote on debt for the co the co uh, country and ultimately, the thought process is if it does not pass or if it does pass, you may see a collapse in the government there. And that's really why the dollar is starting to bounce higher. We're seeing a good move in the dollar here across the board. Take a look at the UUP today. UUP is holding up from where it closed yesterday right here. And again, you can clearly see it closed right at this level yesterday at around 2166. It's trading at 2175, almost up 10 cents on the UUP, which is the Power Shares US Dollar Index ETF. So a nice little move up on the dollar. Now you might say, well, why is the dollar gaining strength today? And that's exactly why. Issues in Europe, again, people are selling the euro, jumping into the dollar for safety reasons, as there's a possible collapse of the government going on in Portugal over this debt vote. All right, so that's exactly what we're talking about here today. And again, that started with the market selling off a little bit. And this is very interesting now. As we go back to the SPY, you had a gap down on the spiders. And the spiders, the SPY, which is the spiders S&P 500 ETF, sold sharply all the way down to the 200 moving average. At the 200 moving average, I called out a scalp in the chat room. We made some money. Then it went down to this blue trend line, which was the next level. It bounced. We made some money. Then as it bounced higher, we noted that you never closed or confirmed below the 200 moving average right here and this trend line there was never any confirmation so as the market moved up here and started to sell again I told the chat room to watch very carefully to see if we confirmed below the 200 moving average I personally told the chat room I didn't think that would happen we were watching again closely here you close below the 200 the next candle never confirmed below and again, that's the beauty of what we have here, folks. Because there was no confirmation, you assume that the markets can reverse to the upside, and that assumption leads to profits. When you can make an assumption with a 90% accuracy call, like the confirmation signal gives us, that will lead you to massive amounts of profits. You have to learn this. And by the way, the confirmation signal you can learn in the Research Center, which is part of the, uh, you know, the In the Money Stocks featured services. Everything that's listed underneath the Research Center at In the Money Stocks is included. Go take a free trial, folks. It's that simple. Take a free trial of the Research Center, check it out, you'll be able to make money off of it. In addition, the chat room, which we run during the day, during trading hours, again, you can view live charts on it, listen to key analysis by chief market strategists, take calls that are made, as well as ask questions. There's also a free trial for the intraday stock chat, all found at InTheMoneyStocks.com. Anyways, notice the reversal here to the upside on the back of lack of confirmation below the 200. The 200 moving average held. Notice how this pivot low right here never got taken out on the second dip as well, which kept it extremely strong. The markets again reverse to the upside. The other thing I'd like to mention here is notice when the markets start to get their big move up. When does this start? This starts at 11 o'clock. Right here is 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Well, what do we know about 11 a.m. Eastern Time? That is the exact time that the Federal Reserve ignited their POMO for the day. Now, what's POMO? POMO is permanent open market operations, and that's what the Federal Reserve is using QE2 to do. So you have $600 billion in QE2. If you divide that up into individual days, it's called permanent open market operations. And that today started at 11 o'clock. The volume is extremely light today. Because the volume is light, POMO will have a significant impact. The markets then start to trade higher very quickly, going basically back to the flat line. Now, as the market moves up, it hits the 20 moving average. What would you do here as your first hit of the 20 moving average? The answer would be you would scalp short the market. Look at the move down you got. So beautiful scalp short, perfect profit right there. Then once you get a little bit of a pullback, you take your money and run. Markets pop up in a major little buying frenzy right here. Where do you go? You go right to gap fill. This is the close of yesterday. That's called gap fill. That's a significant amount of resistance. As you touch it right here, what do you do? You short 
and it pulls back. Now you're consolidating along the 20 moving average. See, excuse me, around the 50 moving average. This is the orange line is the 50 moving average. This is bullish consolidation. So after you got your short off and you pulled back to the 50 moving average, you took your money and ran. And then as you're consolidating a sideways motion, that's a bullish consolidation telling you you're going to pop in the market, right? Well, what's happening as we speak live as I'm doing this video? We're making money on the pop. And again, you'll have resistance right up here again. If you break through that, this is going to be your next level at 129.50. But either way, the patterns, price, and time will tell you everything you need to know about trading this market for profit. And by the way, folks, I'm doing it on an intraday basis. The only reason I'm doing it intraday is because it's an intraday video. If you want a daily basis where you want to have calls on swing trades over the course of multiple days so you can make massive amounts of money on a swing trading and holding, holding stocks you know, way, that's what the research center is for. That's what we cover in the research center, focusing on the larger term, the longer term, so you can make money by holding a stock for three days, for five days, for two days. And again, that's the beauty of it, folks. Beautiful stuff. And you can see, again, all these principles that we talk about on an intraday, confirmation, bear flag, bull flag, uh, you know, topping tails, bottoming tails, gap fills, MA, WV patterns. That's all translatable to the daily charts. It's a no-brainer, folks. And look at this. There it is. You went right to first target right here. Just tag the blue line. You take your profits and run on your scalp. If this was a daily chart, you would have just had a beautiful, huge move on the daily. It works on all levels, folks, and that's the beauty of it. So I encourage you to join the Research Center. At least take the free trial. If you don't take the free trial, I think you're absolutely insane, frankly, because it's a free trial. You know, it's like, okay, so check it out. Big deal. No, no risk involved. <laughs> In any case, the spiders here, beautiful amounts of trades today. There's been some great scalping opportunities. You had the downward move hit of the first 200 bounced then the second hit of the 200 and again that was the call on lack of confirmation it should reverse bull flag bull flag pop pop each time now let's talk touch base on a few other things i want to look at the 60 minutes interesting here because 60 minutes still has this upward move and consolidation you actually have bullish consolidation here still even with the gap down today you never took out the 50 moving average so it's still a valid even though it got hurt a little bit today the bullish consolidation pattern is still involved and now you're starting to move up my opinion is ultimately you will go higher and again we could see this market trading up probably to this level right up here in the not too distant future so again there is a good possibility that move will uh, continue up over the next couple days, especially going in the later in the week when volume continues to be light. And by the way, volume is dead today. That's why POMO works. That's why the Federal Reserve stopped doing POMO on a couple days that were heavy volume because it just doesn't matter. They can't prop the markets when it's like that. All right. Uh, let me scan through here. Let's go to a couple other charts here. Let's see what silver is doing. The SLV is having a big day today again. And this, again, is a breakout day, although it hasn't confirmed yet. Breakout day meaning that you actually took out this move here, but you haven't had a confirmation move to the upside yet, so we have to watch what happens tomorrow. If it doesn't confirm, then it should reverse. If it does confirm, it should go higher. GLD is also having a big day. Now, why are it's gold and silver? When the dollar's higher today, why do gold and silver, or why are they advancing? Why are you seeing gold and silver going up? And the answer is because there's very much a big issue of instability in Europe right now with a possible Portugal government collapsing. So when you have that instability, even though the dollar's a little stronger, and the dollar's not that much stronger, but it is a little stronger, even though you have the dollar stronger, you're still going to see people running to the safety of gold and silver. Remember, the dollar is no longer the only safe haven out there. It used to be the dollar would skyrocket on any instability in a global, global setting. Now it just goes up a tiny bit when there's something new out there. And then you'll see gold and silver rally up and so forth because those are the real stores of safety. All right? When you have the, the, the Federal Reserve printing trillions of dollars over the last few years, obviously it's going to take a little steam out of the safety of the dollar in the long term. right? And that's why we've seen the dollar actually break lower except for today where it's getting a small bounce. So the GLD is having a big day. Now the GLD is into double top up here as well. You have a little bit of a level right here that got tagged today, and it's stalling out there. So you are seeing a little bit of a stall right there. The SLV we just touched on as well. The USO is also having a decent day, uh, moving above the, the 42.15 level. But we'll see where this closes today. And again, you'll have resistance right up here if it continues up as double top at approximately 42.90. All right, let's take a look at a couple stocks. Apple Computer continues to be weak, folks. Uh, even with the markets now flattish, NASDAQ is actually positive. You still see Apple down almost $3 on the day. And again, Apple dropped here into this key little support area where I gave the alert in the Research Center on the Pro Trader watch list that it went into a bullish mode, and we got a beautiful bounce. Now, I pulled that off the bullish Pro Trader, and you can see Apple starting to come back in. And the reason why I did it is because the easy money was out of that play already, and that's what it's all about. You know, Once your easy money's done, take your money and run. It's that simple. It really is because you don't want to stay around when things start to get hairy in the markets and possibly risk 
uh, you know, increasing the risk. The easy money is what you want to take, then move on to another play that's easy, then move on to another play that's easy. Once it gets messy, that's when you take losses. That's when individual retail investors do stupid things and end up taking big losses. If you play it safe, you're always making a profit. At the end of the month, at the end of the quarter, at the end of the year, you're always adding more profits. And, and you look back at the end of the year and say, holy cow, I just made you know a million dollars this year trading or whatever it may be. Okay? Some good calls from earlier today. Small cap wise, guys, take a look at this. We nailed this one today. I gave the alert to buy CNAM at 285. The stock ran to 319. Huge move there today. That was one little play in the chat room we had as a great one. Also, we continue to have some great scalps on stocks like Apple and Goldman Sachs. Take a look at Goldman Sachs. We talked about Goldman right here at the 200 today. Look at the move on Goldman since then. No-brainer 200 moving average. Apple Computer, I think there was an intraday call on Apple as well. Right here at a Pierce of the 200. You also had a little bit of a level right down here. Since then, it's bounced off beautifully as well. So, great plays today across the board in the intraday stock chat. Remember, there's a free trial for the intraday stock chat for one week, as well as the research center. I do encourage you to take it because the money is there to be made. You know, people think it's that it's difficult. It's really not. You just have to learn the basics. Learn the basic principles of the methodology that In the Money Stocks teaches that we've developed over decades of study. And it's there for the taking on all time frames, intraday, daily, weekly, monthly. If you're someone who likes to hold for a long time, you can use the same principles. If you're someone who likes to hold for a few days, use it. If you like to intraday trade, then use it. Make money on all time frames, folks, okay? And again, this is proprietary stuff that we're unveiling. And again, we actually got a nice Twitter comment today. I want to just read this out loud because I do think it's very, very important. Um, D. Lautenschläger saying... Wanted to say thanks. The principle of confirmation on the 10-minute charts has kept me from entering losing trades. Love the videos as well, and I thank you very much for that kind comment, and uh, appreciate it very much so. So, again, you can follow ITMS on, on uh, Twitter, or you can follow me specifically, Gareth Soloway, on Twitter as well. But, again, we appreciate the kind words, folks. People just continuing to say how they're making profits left and right. And you can always go check them out. I think that's a great way to look at testimonials. We have testimonials we post on, up on the website as well. But if you want the, the live ones coming through, just go to Twitter. They're there. All right, and we thank those of you that take the time to post kind words to us as well. That does mean quite a bit to us. All right, looking at a couple other things, let's just take a look. Amazon is up about a buck sixty-seven. That's been a beautiful reversal after early weakness. That's leading the Nasdaq higher, technology higher. Chevron is basically flat on the day with uh, Exxon. Uh, financials were very, very weak this morning, but they have come back, but they're still overall weak. You're still seeing weakness there. Bank of America, and this is JP Morgan's intraday chart, symbol JPM, and you can see it dropped down and actually went below the 200, reversed to the upside, but Bank of America was really the one here that kind of scared a lot of the financial traders, and what happened here was basically the Federal Reserve told them they could not raise their dividend, and the reason is, the question was ultimately was, when we do a stress test of these banks, can they raise their dividends? Are they strong enough? And obviously, Bank of America is not. So Bank of America, as you can see, is down on the day pretty significantly, and that's weighing on the financial stocks out there. All right, and symbol here on BAC, is BAC on Bank of America, for those of you that don't know. In any case, that's enough for today, folks. I think we've done a nice little job here of giving you an intraday idea. Watch Portugal. This is a big deal. Watch oil prices in the Middle East and obviously a little bit in Japan as well. But right now, Portugal's at the forefront with Europe, and the defaults could be continuing there on some of these things. And that could easily drive the dollar up a little bit more and even gold and silver as well. All right? Uh, have a great afternoon. As always, come take the free trial at InTheMoneyStocks.com. We hope to see you soon.